This is a 1995 Toyota Land Cruiser. This is a super rare color too, and it's for sale. So if you like Land Cruisers, check it out. It's a nice one to look at. And if you're in the market for one, let's talk. Let me tell you what I know about Land Cruisers. Been around them my whole life. My first Land Cruiser was a 1995, but in the emerald green. Lots of emerald greens out there. But these midnight shadows, they are very far and few between. Look at that paint. And what I wanted to show you is, let's look at this side of it in the sun. You see that blue just pop. So nice. Timeless. These trucks are amazing. You know, they're looking at bringing the Land Cruiser back to the US. And everybody, I put out a video, everybody's like, hey, make it like the 80 series. That was the common, uh, most, most common comment. <laughs> Solid axles, um, 80 series, make it a little bit smaller size, you know, versus that bigger 300 series that they had. And you know what? The truth of the matter is they are not gonna make an 80 series. Let's face it. They are not gonna go solid axles ever again. It's all gonna be um, IFS, so independent front suspension. So these, these are just gonna get more and more popular and the price will go up and up. So this is, you know, sunny day on the shade side. And look at that color. And when it's like a overcast day, it's like a dark blue. So, you know, cause the pearl makes it pop. Look how nice that is. So this here, some people might be asking, what is that? These are decals. So this is just 3M. So that's paint, that's the decal. This peels right off. You know when people wrap their cars, like Teslas and you know sports cars, they wrap it if they didn't like the color? That's what that is, that's wrap. I just happen to have these colors in my garage. I did this to my last Land Cruiser, my white one, which I sold. Check that video, it'll be in my description and also at the end of this video. That one sold, sold for 32. And it had more miles than this one. Um, it has snorkel, it was triple locked, had sliders on it, but, um, and it was white, so white's kind of popular, it's a nice color, but again, this one, it's a rarity. So we'll get into it, I just wanted to give you the 360, and I am selling it with roof rack, the uh, 230 case to the right, and then these two aluminum Zargs cases, and then the action tracks boards. If you're ever looking for action tracks right here. I work with the manufacturer of them and have them for a great deal with yellow uh, zinc hardware on the front, you know, on both like ex and entry and exit on them. Nice wheels. These are plenty of tread on them too. They're the BFGs. I think they look super nice on this. Those are 33s, if anybody's wondering size wise. I really dig these lights too. So they're not like, they're like day, day runner lights. So you can turn them on. It just makes your uh, pathway a little bit better lit up. It's super clean underneath. Wait till you see the engine. I, I didn't even clean underneath this. This has been like this for a long time. Um, just California, you know, when it's a California car, they stay clean. This has been a California Land Cruiser its whole life. That tells you a lot you know when you buy these out of Pennsylvania Chicago New York get underneath go take a look because they're gonna be a little nasty unless the person stored it and who stores this in the uh, in the wintertime old man emu you can see usually those are all pitted and, and rusty no nope, not this one looking great let me get on the ground here so underneath clean as can be Yep, not a speck of rust because California. All right, up top, that is a rugged bound roof rack. I actually got in touch with that company here in the last year. So it's kind of like front runner, just better. These are the original guys out of South Africa. So you see how the, uh, sorry, there you go, how the, the bars go with the length of the car. And then underneath, 
you have extra support here, right? You got uh, five bars going across. So believe it or not, this platform, best for a rooftop tent, best for putting a lot of weight, and you can actually get three full-grown male adults, 200 pounds on that. Isn't that crazy or what? You can see the shadows are already getting longer since our first walk around. All right. One thing I'm yet to do, and a lot of people need to know, this plate, kick plate, if you will, back here, that's aluminum. Get um, quadruple zero steel wool and a good polish, and that thing will shine. I was gonna do that before the video, but then I realized the sun will be set and I won't have good lighting. All right, let's look back here and it's got a new carpet and it's really nice this carpet super nice it has the third row seats i just happened to take them out i put my mountain bike back here but you know the split tailgate i think they're getting rid of that in the next land cruiser this is the best you know you got young kids you sit them up there put their ski boots their hiking boots gear whatever um you know they come back from the beach if you have my sandy cats um, water using the the scepter tanks you wash off their feet real easy and you don't have to plug into anything it's, it's like got a battery pack awesome that's in my link tree check that out if you're into overlanding and you got kids and you don't want them bringing dirt and crap from the beach into your nice cruiser like this but that split gate is awesome another great feature i love this feature in the 100 series they made it where they just would bow out but this you know, you got your dog in the back, crack the window so the dog can uh, stick their head out, get some air. And same thing, the other side, Clips does the same thing. So that's pretty awesome. Some people put like the Yoda Tech or Delta, or there's a whole bunch of different gull wings. I'm like, why put a gull wing? You can open it. It's a window that opens. Why are you eliminating a nice window that opens with a great big piece of, you know, uh, solid aluminum that opens so I, I never really quite got that so those are pretty awesome and, you know if you're on the trail just crack it a bit and then you can slide it from the outside these always come with a full spare underneath right there so that's awesome sometimes I take them off put them on the roof rack if you're gonna be rock crawling um, but in this case I left it down there tow bar these can tow 5,000 pounds so that's nothing huge. Maybe you can tow, I don't know, one horse. Maybe not, <laughs> maybe just a rowboat. So I wouldn't really get this for towing. I'd get a V8, but if you need to tow something, you got that. And if anything, that's where you can put your bike rack for, you know, four bikes or whatever, the family, family gear. But yeah, third row seats, I do have them. They're in perfect shape because People rarely use them. They're usually folded up, just taking that space. When you take them out, you got ample room. Also in my videos, there's the same company that makes the roof rack. They make a drawer system, which is the best. It's made for the 80 series. So it's not one of these ARB or Dobbinson, which is small, medium, large with fit kits. It's made for the 80 series. So it fits perfect. I love it top quality there was a guy in one of my videos he bought a 100 series so we did a cool walk around also a rare color and he's like man the drawers were squeaking it sounded like a bunch of mice having an orgy back there drove them crazy so that's not fun if you have rattling kind of like two styrofoam boxes squeaking against each other right i'd be pulling over instantly and tossing those things out so whenever you get gear always make sure you review it and it's top notch and of course, if someone is interested in this vehicle, believe it or not, from the roof rack up, that's over three grand. That's like 3,500 bucks or so, um, you know, with, with uh, tax and all. So I would sell this when you, at the end of the video, I'll tell you my price. I will sell it for three grand less if people don't want any of that gear up there. But I think that roof rack and those cases, they make it. It's very cool it's part of the look and if you don't know if you never had a land cruiser before get ready people are going to stop you at the gas station they're going to ask questions you're going to get thumbs up all the time because these are great rigs 
LED light down here, LED lights all throughout, so that's updated. And yes, this is where the triple lock button would be. So this is where actually those front lights that I showed you earlier. So this is center locked. 70% of Land Cruisers were center locked. If you're going to go extreme rock crawling, doing crazy stuff, you'll need to have armor, you'll need to have a winch, and you'll want to get a Land Cruiser that's got that. If you're overlanding, going over dunes and sand, and trust me, the all-wheel drive and the uh, center locker is all you need and going into low gear. In fact, very rare, most Land Cruisers with triple locks probably never ever got engaged. You know, they never engaged them. You can always add ARB air lockers to one of these trucks easily. Well, easily, probably costs about three grand uh, all in with ARB, that's with the compressor too, which helps you air up and air down. But for all intents and purposes, I think, 95% of people that buy Land Cruisers, they're like, oh yeah, triple locked, but they'll never use it. They'll never use it. Um, they don't realize how capable these vehicles are as is. All right, the seats. Yes, brand new seats with the embroidered logo. Super clean, because typically these seats crack. The leather that they used back in the mid 90s, just people didn't, if you didn't condition it <coughs> yearly, well, unfortunately they crack. So this has new seats, but I like that they're using the same style. This is how the, the seats are in, you know, the original with just all these pieces, trim pieces. That too. And notice, look how brand new all the plastic looks. It's perfect. Look at that. And that's because it had wood and I removed it. It took four hours. It's a huge job. This all had wood here and here and there and there and over there. And here was brutal, tons of it. But you know what that did? It preserved the plastic. So look now, you know, this would have been, if there was no wood there, this would be all scratched up and destroyed over time. The people throwing keys, doing whatever. Now it looks so clean. Backup camera. So those with families and you know, bikes on the driveway, got a backup camera, doubled in. You would never see a <laughs> original sound system. They always kind of crap out. So, but yeah, that interior looking phenomenal. Functional sunroof. So a lot of Land Cruisers, sunroofs are usually not operational. This one works and there's our roof rack. So perfect because you can tilt it and you can put it all the way back and then the second row the second row is the only that that leather wasn't redone because it's expensive you do these seats that's a that's where most of your sitting goes but you can see here that's the cracking that they do so i put one coat of conditioner on this i'm going to do another coat and just keep building it up but their seat covers, that's, that's the least expensive thing. And a lot of people are going to put car seats, their kids. Some people are going to remove these and make this like a whole flat area with the drawer system and like a, a sleep area. More storage if you're overlanding and doing adventures. And nice roof liner. You can see plenty of room in the back when you remove those third row seats. All right, now for the fun part. And I, so when I bought this, I talked to the guy I got it from. He put in a new radiator. He, he did about four grand of service um, in the last month, month before selling it. Cause he was prepping it to sell. He wanted it to be perfect. So perfect it was. Now check this out. Look at that engine bay. So usually, you know, when you see, this is supposed to be black, someone painted it and you can see it's chipping off. Usually when you take this off, cause you're doing a head gasket, that's something that you would do, but look how clean, and it's, this is not spit shined, you know, this is not WD-40 shined up so you don't see oil leaks. This is dry as a bone. This is perfect. This is the way I like to see engines. And anytime I buy a Land Cruiser, I usually see about 10 of them before I commit. New radiator, like that. Just everything dialed in. Pass smog already. 
look at that because smog smog they don't just plug in yes these were the first year that they had the obd uh two but um they still have to do a pretty heavy um smog pass on this they gotta put the stuff in the back pipe tailpipe and all that good jazz but yeah look at that engine super clean here's another thing that's just amazing look at the the I guess this is like fire retardant material if the engine ever burns so it helps keep it quiet and also this would smother a fire or do its best trying to look how clean that is usually these are super dirty that super clean either someone kept this super clean its entire life or someone put a brand new one um, but when I see the engine I question that could be original running boards are off i have them if someone's interested but i just feel those running boards kind of date it and yeah it helps you get in and out of the car but that's about it um if you hit a boulder with them they would just <laughs> be like opening a tin can um and i just like the look so much better such a clean look there's the 230 up there and of course you could take that gear off and put a rooftop tent no problem you got a family of four up there this truck can handle it the lift by the way when you do an old man emu i've i've got if you follow my channel i love land cruisers i have 380 series one has icon stage three it's a pretty much a five thousand dollar suspension system i have another one which are adjustable i have another suspension which is with king shocks and the dual rate springs because king doesn't make springs for an 80 series um so i have to marry those two companies together the icon dual rate and are they good rides phenomenal rides they're amazing like so don't think you're getting an old truck and then you're going to compromise ride comfort it's right up there with escalade it's it's such a like a rolls royce it's such a smooth ride this one has the old man emu which a lot of people have done they were kind of the first guys for a long time outfitting aftermarket parts for the suspension on land cruisers and i always say my god it's such a tight perfect you don't need to adjust it because you can't but you don't need to because it's perfect solid you can take corners faster than you would ever think you could in a truck like this you can take a corner hard and it's sturdy when it needs to be on the trail and it's soft when you're on the highway so the comfort in these vehicles are great and the stance is phenomenal look at that stance that's a three inch lift um, obviously if you load up because the seats are, back, are, are out of there when you load up and you put more people in the car this will come down maybe an inch um, and match you know because all the weights in the front so that doesn't come down anymore the back will come down as you load it up with drawers and what have you but those are the heavy springs so um, can handle it no problem but yeah look at that look at that color yeah I, I have an Instagram account I posted this people were like that color that color oh my god and again, very rare. They did not make very many in the Midnight Shadow. They didn't make them in, I think it was only 95 and 96, 97. They might not have made this color anymore. I'll have to check my notes. And the mud flaps, just what a perfect look. I, I think this was the best year for Land Cruiser. In the mid-90s in Japan, economy was going great. They just poured so much money into this truck, like into technology. Not Bluetooth technology and bippity-bop stuff. I'm talking mechanical technology, robust, where this, you know, you the old saying, uh, if you want to go somewhere, to go in a Land Cruiser. If you want to come back, go in a Land Cruiser. You know, not like, unfortunately, the Defenders. But look how inviting that is so nice so clean and again this had the wood that was just kind of dated and that the veneer top for the for the dashboard kits that the manufacturer put in back in the day uh was just peeling up i have a whole video on how to do that <coughs> if you don't buy this land cruiser and you buy one you're like oh yeah i remember you know cruising the land was talking about that um watch that video don't use gooby gone don't use harsh adhesive removers you got to use a specific remover that's from hospitals that takes off bandage um, adhesive that gets on your skin you know like a band-aid 
uh, that's what you need. Let's get in the back and then we'll start her up. These always droop. Um, I just didn't get around to, you can tighten them up like so, and then you hook it here and then it looks clean again. Well, actually look at that one. That one looks great. So I guess if you have like stuff in there, it does stretch it out. So there is a way to make it look clean again. That big blue hood. So there you go. Super clean cockpit. Cup holder. They they kind of shortchanged this truck on cup holders. There is one you can buy for about 50 bucks. It sits here and you can put two cups. Uh, I have it in one of my other trucks. All right. Actually, maybe I'll finish off the video showing you Otis, which has a slee rear bumper. If someone wants to really build out their truck and I'll show you that drawer system. That's just phenomenal. All right, let's crank her. Maybe we go for a little drive. There's my key. Here you go. Oh, and it does have uh, an alarm system, as you can see. Clifford on, off. Get inside, yeah, you do not have to get in, put your foot on the brake and all that modern car BS. So I'm standing outside and I started her up. Sounds great. That engine is phenomenal. These engines are built to go about 500,000 miles, give or take 100, could go up to 600, could go to 400, but about 500. And then these engines, even though it's an inline six, look how big the engine is, right? It's going all the way back here, all the way here. These inline sixes are big, 24 valve. They're, they're monsters, 212 horsepower. I think like 280 on the torque, if I'm not mistaken. Um, everything you need to overlap. Smooth as can be. New belts, new radiator, amazing engine. But you can do an engine overhaul on these at 500,000 miles if it needs to, right? So engine overhaul, let me get that down, there you go. And uh, then you're good for another 500,000. So guess what? The engineers, the guys that from Japan that built these rigs, they say that engine can be overhauled three times because the block is made that tough three times. So original, right, get you 500,000 miles. Second time for the first overhaul, 500,000 miles. Second overhaul, 500,000 miles. Third overhaul, 500,000 miles. So it's not the engine so much, it's the body. That's why you wanna make sure when you get a Land Cruiser, don't get one that's got the cancer and it's got the, the rust happening. Get one that's clean because the engine will outlast of the body the body's good then you're good all right let's do a quick spin and things to look for when you're looking at a land cruiser hopefully this video helps now pretty popular you see the little the park lit up green so reverse neutral D where is it wait a minute I'm in D there it is that light usually goes out very rare that that light's working, but that's okay. You don't have a big green light annoying you. And then that's the, there you go, overdrive. My seatbelt light. I'm just driving local, so we're not gonna put the seatbelt on. But the gears change amazing, the transmission. So I actually, when I bought this, I got from, from the previous owner, he, um, did for, like I said, four grand worth of work on it. I got the receipts of that, but he didn't have any receipts from the previous guy. So I said, do you have his number? And he did, he gave it to me. And I called that guy and I said, hey, what did you do to the truck? So he's like, I did all the fluids. I did the, uh, the diffs, the transmission, um, everything. So he put money into the car and he's the one that did these seats. 
So he told me these seats were like something like 600 bucks each one. So 1200 bucks, nice brand new seats. But the, the power, the pickup is amazing. And you know that these have a power button right here, but uh, you don't really need it. The second start, that's if you're in snow and there are ice or slippery conditions and you don't want to just spin tires, so you start in second gear. But the, uh, just the suspension, whoop, hit my windshield wipers. But you can just rock this thing back and forth. I don't think I'm gonna do a big drive. Let's just turn around here, head back up. But going back up, it's a bit of a hill, so let's just punch it. And she cruises, that is awesome. Plenty of power. Excuse the sun glare here for just a minute. We're gonna turn up the street. Oh, and if you look at miles right there, zoom in, 226. So 226 is really, again, think about it, that's midlife on this engine. That's midlife before the first major overhaul. So what, this car is a 95, we're 2003, that's 18 years. So what, in another 15 years, if you're doing a lot of miles on this thing before doing an engine overhaul. It's got plenty of life. Just do your oil changes. That's the key thing. Do your oil changes. Um, you can do the valve cover gasket, that repair. So here, let's get back to my casa. All right, price. So yeah, you, got, you, you hung on to this video this long. You deserve to know price. So just like my last one that I sold that had 265 on the odometer, um, but it did have an engine swap. This one, it is the original engine, but so well maintained in such great shape. Um, my, the other one was white, and again, I'll, I'll put that video below so you can actually check out that truck. Uh, this one, again, that those miles, mo most people would be like, oh wow, over 200,000 miles, but I'm a Land Cruiser guy, I know these trucks, I know that they just last a long time. Oh yeah, AC blows cold and the heat blows hot. Usually, AC blows cold in, the, in these bad boys. All right, so let's get the nice view from outside and go over the price. So again, as I said, th this price is including all the goodies on top, done up right, it's got that look, and those, um, three stripes just above the rear fender. You can remove that and you just peel it off, super easy. And the other reason why these Land Cruisers always look so good, glass, right? Glass don't fade, baby. It always looks great. On the, I guess in 2003, they started going to plastic headlights and they fade and they really date a car. So when you're glass, they always look good and that chrome pops and looks good and those wheels pop and look great all right so my white one was 32.9 this one is the same price 32.9 um, this could go for 40 if i you know 45 if i put it on bring a trailer but i'm just not a bring a trailer type guy i don't like it where people you know someone really wants it they get out bid you get emotional and then they take five percent uh, there is one like this and well a red one I'll put I did a video on it so I'll, I'll put that also at the end in my description so you can check it out it sold for 32 grand on bring a trailer which means bring a trailer took um, five percent so that means 32 grand it really sold for 33 5 33 6 so this one 32.9 and if you don't want all that gear from the rain gutters up on the roof it's got a nice super clean roof I can get that in there uh, then I would drop it three grand so three grand down gets you below 30 for a California its entire life amazing midnight shadow Land Cruiser 
So, um, I'm only going to post it on my video. I don't put this on Car Gurus. I don't put this on Craigslist or OfferUp or Auto Trader or Bring a Trailer or anything like that. It's on my YouTube. And quite honestly, because I get to enjoy it, I get to drive it. If someone's interested, they can call up and ask questions and think about it. It's not one of those high pressure um, Bring a Trailer auctions. So that's the price. Midnight Shadow. I bet you if you look up nationwide, Midnight Shadow, I don't think you'll find one. Or if you do, you might find one in, um, in one of the Rust Belt states. So again, truck engine outlasts the body, so get a clean body. All right, so my information, cruising the land at Gmail. Uh, you can reach out to me. Hit like if you like the video, subscribe if you like Land Cruisers, and if you don't buy this one, you buy another one. <coughs> or if you're not sure between an 80 or a 100, on my channel I have comparisons. 80 to a 60, 80 to a 100, a 100 to a 200, a 200 to an 80, a 200 to a 570, a 200 to a 470, a 470 to a 570. You get the idea. I, I think I've done all the combinations possible comparing Lexuses and Land Cruisers from the 60... 80 100 200 models not a 300 because we never got it and you know if the rumors i see online are true these land cruisers will only go up in price because the next one could be a hybrid a <laughs> four banger like what so there you have it hope you enjoyed the video and uh hit me up or if you're looking around ask me questions if you're looking at a land cruiser i know these through and through i've owned many i love them so I'd be more than happy to help answer any questions. Uh, even if this sells and the video is still posted. If it sells, I will put that in the description and let you know that it's sold. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Happy trails. And um, go get yourself a Land Cruiser. You won't regret it.